The first wreck they must locate is the SS Gersopa. February 1941, the Nazis have overrun Europe. Britain, which has so far resisted the German onslaught, relies heavily on her merchant fleet for vital supplies. Two months before, the Gersopa had left Calcutta bound for Liverpool. Along with 85 crewmen, she was carrying tea, pig iron, and up to 200 tons of silver bullion. On February the 14th, running low on fuel, she leaves her convoy to seek safe harbor at Galway. She has no defense when a German submarine attacks. The crew attempt to abandon ship, but by the next morning, just a single lifeboat with 34 men is still afloat. The ship's second officer, Richard Ayres, is in charge. Neil Dobson is Odyssey's marine archaeologist. As part of his research into the Gersopa, he meets with Carolyn Pilkington, granddaughter of second officer Ayres. He spent his entire career working in the Merchant Navy. And this is a photograph of him. Oh, wow. So this was a letter that he wrote. So what he says here is that the lifeboat was laid off the vessel about 50 to 100 yards distant, and the gear sopper eventually sank bow first about 20 minutes after being That's torpedoed. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes very dark, really. Yeah. After the fourth day, deaths occurred from frostbite, because this was February. Yeah, it's February, it'd be better in, yeah. in, in the North Sea. And the effects of drinking salt water, the latter causing madness in 12 hours and wow. death in 24 hours. And the, the, the strength of the wind and the sea turned the boat over. One European then swam to the rocks, but was washed off, apparently injured about the head and the one survivor being picked out of the surf by lifeboat men. So, of course, that one survivor was my grandfather. Yes, yes. By all accounts, he was more dead than alive when he was dragged really? unconscious oh. from the water and, and taken up to the local hospital. For his efforts to save members of the crew, second officer Ayres received an OBE. He died in 1992.